Hello, Crafty Old Git here. This is the start of Chapter 4 in my video diary for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2022. Let's get started. This is the timber I've selected for the front and back of my guitar. As you can see, I've got a few issues with holes. But the grain and the patterning on this is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to do a few joins. I'll show you how I'm going to achieve that. This one you can see is barely big enough for the guitar. So I'm going to do a, a wobbly join across here and possibly add something around here. I think we're going to end up being short. However, at the end of it, it's going to look fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a quick look. Okay, so I've got obviously the knot there, the knot there, got that there. This one's just got a couple of splits in it. But hey, who's bothered about splits? So I'll lay this one on to where I think there's a good, a good join in place. I've left a bit overlap. What I'm going to do is super glue these together, but first I want this to be the back, so this is the back of the guitar because obviously it's that way around. Um, so this will be the, the back side showing. I'll just make sure that my body fits fits the wood as good as possible, and it does. Like I say, I'm gonna to have to glue something up at the top end here, but we'll do that in another day. So, bit of super glue. Just a couple of drops. And the other one, oh, that's a lot. And spread that around a bit. Give that a couple of seconds. <coughs> Perfect. Steel rule. So this is approximately how much overlap we've got. So I can do a squiggly line somewhere in there and uh, happy days. Let's go back to the other bench. The 
bandsaw blade that I've just used is uh, one mil thick so basically what I need to do now is put a one mil piece of something oak or black dyed poplar in there glue it together and it'll be a nice joint first of all let's get rid of these bits here firewood Yep, so by the time there's a piece of, I think we're going to use black poplar to be fair, uh, that's only 0.6 of a mil, I might just use two two pieces, I think that will give you a, a nice break there, so just let me grab that. So, this is, okay, I've lost calipers. Nine point one, nine point, yeah, nine point one, nine. Okay, so, pretty good. Let's get a couple of, 10 mil rips off there, probably a better knife. Do fold it in half. Great. That will look great. So you'll see this when I've glued it together because obviously I've got to do do something up here at the top. That's now my guitar definitely is too long. So yeah, we'll cut one of these pieces off maybe. This bit here has got a bit of rippling in it and I'll just stick it there. Okay, so we've done some joining. It's fantastic grain, I'm sure you'll agree. This is the visible side of the back of the guitar. What I'm gonna do now is I've drawn the center line on. I'm gonna cut a squiggly line to come back to the center line. I'm gonna shove both of these through the thicknesser. Currently there, uh, 8.9 mil. I'd like them a little bit thinner and then I shall take one of these pieces of oak that we glued up earlier with the alder in the middle and we'll squeeze it in so we've got a, a wiggly centre line 
if you get my meaning. Right, I'm not going to video this next bit because all I'm going to do is cut it on the bandsaw, shove it through the thickness there and glue it back together and you'll see it when it's glued back and sanded. Back soon. So the back's all joined and cut to rough size. It's now gluing. It'll look uh, quite spectacular tomorrow when I take those clamps off and see it in position. Then I'll be able to give it a, a, bit, a bit more of a sanding. But for now, I've got some pieces of pretty bent London plane that I'm going to be using for the neck. So without showing you on the camera, I'm going to get those straightened, get them through the thickness there, and see what I've got left to play with. Looking at it, there's plenty there, but uh, you never know what you find when you're playing in wood. Okay, so I've been busy. Or have I? That's the question. Let's get some clamps off. Never have too many clamps. Very nice. I'm not going to sand this today. Um, just going to make sure the the glue is properly gone off. It messes up with your uh, sanding bobbins. So yes, yeah, happy days. That's going to look very nice. Did have a bit of a fail on this one. It slightly came apart when I was clamping it that way, so filled it with some thin super glue. I'm sure it'll sand up okay. It's part of the effect. Happy days. Right. I've got my wood cut for the neck. Go for London plane again. I've cut it 60 mil just to give me plenty for cleaning up. And I've got 65 mil there, 65 mil there, so plenty of room for cleaning up. I'm not putting any banding in it because it can just look a bit too fussy. Um, I might put a, a thin layer of black stained alder just under the fretboard, but we'll get this glued up.
glue. There is a crack in this one here, but um, I know for a fact that I, I don't need that bit. I'm just gluing it up with it in. It will be cut out. I know it'll crack. So uh, not too fussed about that. Uh, that was that way, so I'm gluing that side. Spread. What a splendidly messy job. Right. <clears throat> so, giving this a full 24 hours to dry up, then it's a case of squaring it up on the uh, on the planer, and uh, we'll take it from there. Sit that there to drip on everything. Clean some glue up. Uh, done a few little bits of gluing. This is going to be part of the top. Trying to pick the, the very best pieces. Glued that bit in already. That's just going to be cut out. I'm going to leave, leave these in and fill them with super glue. It'll be joined. Check you can see that. So this is going to be joined. I don't know. Something like something like that to fit. That's the top. So I might just add a piece piece in there. Is that hole? Yeah, so I'll cut a piece for there. That's it really, That's, those, those pieces will do the job. Excellent grain. It's going to look smart.
Yeah. So yeah, we have got a slither off there. Glue that in there. Somehow. Got two humbuckers. Staggered saddle. Neck. Two volume, two tone. And a selector switch here. So overall, very happy. The sad thing about this is that you do cut a lot of this nice wood out for your pickups. But I think you'll agree, it will look nice. So I'm gonna get on doing this. I'm not gonna video it. Um, you can get too much of a good thing and you'll see it when it's glued up. 